Forrester able to turn Birmingham outside of him Forrester that was poor he just dwelled on the ball too long Darren Markey his former teammate nicked it away from him here's the Lions oh, and that's a heavy challenge from Lennon and there's no doubt about it Lennon is going to get a yellow card for that and that it was a bad challenge yeah, I think he had to do it. It was 2v1 there. If Lions had got turned, I think uh, Mark Doyle was in on his left-hand side, so it wasn't a bad yellow to give away, I don't think. I fancy it's Massey 3-4. 5 now in the wall for St. Pat's. And here's going to be Dane Massey. What a goal. What's a finish by the former Dundalk man, now playing centre-half for Drogheda United. And he goes down to that corner of the ground where the Drogheda United supporters are amassed, about 20 of them, Away to our right-hand side, the flare goes off and it is a goal in the 22nd minute of the game. A superb free kick for Drogheda United from Dane Massey. Highlands balls a good one towards the back post. Lots of pushing and shoving in there. There's no doubt about it. There was a heavy push by Mark Doyle in the penalty area. Just shoved one of the same Pats players out of the way, but referee let that go. Drogheda finishing the half on the front foot into the last minute of the opening 45 we go and what a finish as well from Mark Doyle well I actually thought he'd committed the foul from the corner St. Pat's didn't deal with the ball at all and two terrific strikes in this opening half are sending Drogheda into ecstasy <laughs> Doyle's goal in the 44th minute means it's Drogheda United 2 St. Pat's is letting nil so it's the third corner of this opening half for St. Pat's and Forrest is going to take it can they nick something just before the break they certainly need it here's Bone oh and it's ricocheted off the defender I think it's Gary Deegan who got in the way and it was an important one too the goalkeeper was diving don't think he would have got that but Deegan stuck out a knee and diverted away for another corner huge block by Deegan I think Bone absolutely connected with it perfectly that was going in the net, and I think that's a you know that's what Deegan is there for to put his, way, his body on the line for the team, and he done it there again. Important period now for Drogheda. They need to batten down the hatches. I think um, if it continues like this, you're going to see Dinny Corcoran in there. You're going to see maybe Ronan Murray as well. Come on, you know, bit of, bit of legs, um, particularly Corcoran to get a hold of it up there and bring players into play. That was a poor ball. It was just picked up by Brown, and then he gives it away. And it's a good save by Oli Musu, and he's going to... Well, just for a thought for a second there, he had to be helped out by uh, Daniel O'Reilly, but Oli Musu, great save, diving away to his right-hand side, and immediately did the right thing, got back onto his feet again, and dived to stop the second ball. It's a real scramble <laughs> between Lambert and Massey. And Lambert gets his way here, and it's a chance... Perhaps for Pats to pull one back. And it just rolls nicely for Massey, who knocks it out of play. And they breathe a sigh of relief at the back there. I think Billy King has got to hit that first time. He's trying to you know, be too clever, cut inside. When the ball was there to be hit, he could have hit on his left. Good ball across the area. And it's cushioned into the substitute. Lambert, who scores. Well, they just brought him on a few moments ago. And the bells ring for the St. Pat's substitute. And they've got one back, and this is going to be a grandstand finish now. 37 minutes on the clock in the second half. And it's Lambert's goal. Twists and turns inside the penalty area and plants it to the back of the net. And Pats are back in this. It's draw to two. Pats one. Well, here's Brown breaking forward. And at the bow! And that wraps it up. Well, St. Pat's and sixes and sevens at the back there. And it was a great run by Brown. I thought he said a terrific game. Burst straight into the heart of the St. Pat's defence. Broke nicely for Adebayo, Jordan Adebayo. And it's in the back of the net. Here's Mountney. Referee has a look at the watch. He's got his whistle to his lips. A couple of seconds left. And there goes the full-time whistle. Thanks to Declan Fabio O'Brien for his company tonight. I'm John Kenny. Hope you've enjoyed our coverage of this game. Dane Massey opened the scoring midway through the first half for the home side with a free kick. Mark Doyle, terrific second to make it 2-0. Lambert, the substitute, made it 2-1 in favour of the home side as he came on as a sub. But it was another sub, Jordan Adameo, right before the 90, who gave Trotty United all three points here at Head of the Game Park is finishing this SSC Attrition League game. Draw the United 3, St. Patrick's Athletic 1.
Tim, uh, would you say that's your best display of the season? Um, display, probably not, no. We've been really good in a lot of games. Um, probably got the rewards, or maybe got a little bit of luck there tonight that we haven't got in other games. Um, we thought we were excellent against Shamrock Rovers. Um, here, losing the last minute of the game, and we had a very good second half down the Longford as well, but uh, overall, listen, it's, it's a brilliant result for us. Yeah. What was the most pleasing aspect? You were tuning up at half-time, got a couple of terrific goals, and only two shots on target in that all of the first half. I thought your defensive display was terrific in that first half. Especially. Yeah, very good. We were, we were disciplined with our shape, and um, we limited them to very few opportunities. I think our keepers made one save the whole game, and they're a very good team. Like That's why they're sitting where they are in the league. And, the pleasing thing was it's just the three points. It's the, the most pleasing thing, and um, a big character check as well for our lads that uh, haven't been tuned up at half time. With two fantastic strikes from from Dane from the free kick and um, Doyler from from Clay to then can see the goal against a very good team with ten minutes left, and uh, to then respond and, and get Nick on the break then to. To kill the game off was, was, was probably the biggest pleasing thing. Yeah, I suppose your message to the players at half time was they were going to come at you, weren't they? They, they had no option. Yeah, and, listen, and they're good enough. Yeah, they're a very good team. And, yeah. <coughs> oh, sorry, um, but they start the game very well. Up in Richmond when they beat us earlier on in the season, they started both halves extremely well. And you see last week against Shamrock Rovers, they were one up after three or four minutes. And, um, we almost had a chance to put the tunnel up after six minutes, so to get out of the blocks really quickly and they both halves uh, most weeks. So to, to ride that storm and then obviously we conceded when we did uh, to react and, and get a goal near the end. It's, 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 it's brilliant uh, result for us. Sure. Nice spine to your team, haven't you, with the likes of Massey in the centre of the fence. And you got Deegan just in front of him and then Lyons, who worked his socks off in front tonight. Now he scored five goals for you this season, but he, he combined his uh, perhaps going for goal by doing a lot of defensive work when he needed to, too, as well. Yeah, Chris was brilliant. He's the first person I rang when I got this job. Um, three and a half years ago was uh, Chris because I played with him and I know what his attributes are and probably a little bit of a raw deal when he's at Shelburne because he had an injury that was, was affecting him but um, listen when, when Chris is on it and he's, 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 I'm sorry he's fit and he's flying <coughs> um, there's very few players better than him in the, in the country to, to hold the ball in and, and, and work the way he does up front and lead the line and we're delighted that he's, he's getting his rewards this season as well because although we didn't score tonight he's, he's, he's contributed with five goals this season I think that's marked over four or five as well so um, listen the pleasing thing is obviously the three points but the point of the team as you're saying the experience that we've brought in it's really developing the, the younger players in the squad that we have Yeah and 16 points from your opening what 11 games that's very pleasing and a nice position to be in Yeah and again we've got to keep chipping away and keep Keep trying to, to better the um, points tally that we got for the first round of games. and We won uh, the first game against Waterford and then we lost against Pat. So, listen, we're, we're plus three at the minute. But, again, listen, we know there's very, very difficult games ahead. And, um, again, we've uh, a big game next week. And I suppose when, when you're talking about character check and passing that, there's no harder place to go, I think, than uh, Finn Harps next week up in Donegal. And, um, and then a game here against Longford on Monday. So, it's, it's a huge week ahead for us. And, um, we're going to prepare now and get the bodies mended as much as we can and relaxed and, and recovered and we'll go again next week. Uh, joined by David Odomosu after today's 3-1 win over St. Pat's. Uh, what a win. Yeah, great, great result. Um, the boys put in a shift, uh, just an unbelievable shift from minute one to 90, whatever it was. But um, just everyone on the pitch who sub that came on just played unbelievable and managed to get the, a good result, yeah. Yeah, Pats have had an absolutely unbelievable start um, in, in fairness. They've, they've picked up some really, really good wins and uh, have, have proved themselves really, really well so far in the season. But to, to get them here and, and to win 3 1, especially after uh, after that difficult result uh, last time we faced them up in Richmond, uh, it's a bittersweet moment. Yeah, definitely. Um, look, the game in Richmond um, at the start of the season, we felt that we, we matched them um, just like today. But obviously, it was just very unlucky um, to concede last minute. But no, we had to do right today, and um, I felt we did. You know, two two great goals in the first half, and then capitalise on a mistake from them, um, and then obviously Jordan coming on, finishing, uh, putting the game to bed. So, um, just an unbelievable win, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you mentioned how what a first half that was. You know, two unbelievable goals, both by Dane and Doyler. Um, they've obviously had a really really good performance, but as a team, you can see like even. The last few minutes, and even with the, the small number of fans, really gave us as well that little bit of a little bit of a drive. Yeah, of course. Um, like having having them over there, um, they, they generate some amount of yeah. noise, um, <laughs> and it just it just a great boost. Um, um, and then obviously we're just buzzing, uh, hoping fans can get back soon. But you know, just having a small crowd definitely lifts spirits. And um, well, that's the thing. Like we're 
we're really close um, in that change room, uh, good togetherness. Like so, you know, we fight for each other, um, and it showed out there tonight. Even the last couple of games, it showed um, just how good we are as a group. Yeah. We have a difficult trip now uh, next Friday uh, away to to Finn Harps. A tough place to go to. Um, you must be obviously looking forward to that type of game as well. Yeah, yeah, definitely. We know it's going to be another tough, tough game. Like here, um, when we played them early in the season. Mm. You know, they made it difficult for us um, and we did the same to be fair, so we know what type of game it's going to be, especially down there, um, but look, we're up for it. Um, after, after tonight, getting three points, we're looking to carry on and try to get a win streak going, you know, so definitely looking forward to it. Yeah, thanks very much, best yeah, of luck. Cheers, man.